Bitcoin, the word on the lips of every amateur investor last year and most people's first introduction to the world of cryptocurrencies. If you don't know what cryptocurrencies are, don't worry, neither do we, but that doesn't mean we can't make a list on the most promising ones. And we'll warn you about something right off the bat. Bitcoin is not on this list as this list is about the most promising currencies, not the trashiest. Number 7. Stellar Lumens XLM. Lumens were created after a hard fork occurred within Ripple, which we will be getting to later on this list. What is a hard fork? Is it an eating utensil meant to be used with the toughest of meats? No. A hard fork occurs when a disagreement happens within a cryptocurrency network, and part of the network takes all their coins and upgrades them to a new version. Many cryptocurrencies have come about from forks, most from Bitcoin, like with Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin Gold. Lumens happens to be a fork of Ripple. The reason for the fork is that backers of XLM did not like how Ripple was appealing to the banks and wanted to put the power of the technology into the hands of the people. In this way, XLM hopes to give individuals the power to transfer XLM between each other, stores, and online retailers with little to no cost and with efficient speed. Even if these financial transfers occur across borders, which in the present day can often be a time-consuming and expensive transfer of money, the goal is to give every XLM owner the ability to have equal access and economic participation, no matter their social or economic class, which is why XLM ranks so low on this list. Do you really think people are about to get control of their own finances? Not if big banks have anything to say about it. Number 6. Litecoin, LTC. Litecoin, also known as Bitcoin's little brother who is better at just about everything, was created after a hard fork from Bitcoin occurred in 2013. Yes, another fork. The crypto world loves their forks. Anyway, LTC, as Litecoin is known as, has the same goals as Bitcoin, to create a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer currency transfer system. However, the makers behind LTC found Bitcoin to be inefficient, so they created Litecoin, which excels in every area that Bitcoin lacks in. LTC's transaction fees are in the cents compared to the dollar amounts for Bitcoin. Additionally, the coin Bitcoin's transfer speeds are a fraction of the time that it takes Bitcoin to transfer. And finally, Litecoin has a clear leader in the form of Charlie Lee, a former Google employee, as opposed to Bitcoin's near mythological leader, known as Satoshi Nakamoto. Everything Google touches turns to gold, so I'm going to have to side with Litecoin on this one. Plus, I live by the motto of never trust a person who leads from the shadows, because there are probably a supervillain, as every superhero movie has taught me. So in review, Litecoin and Bitcoin are like the Affleck brothers. Bitcoin is like Ben, in that he's way more famous and well-known, while Litecoin is like Casey, in that he is not as well-known, but he is better in practically every way possible. Number 5. Ethereum ETH. Data breaches have become a new norm in our society, with businesses as big as Sony or Equifax being affected. Even the United States government is not safe from hacking. And it doesn't help that every website and company nowadays wants our information, whether it's our email, home address, or our credit card. Every year, these companies ask more personal questions. They're nosier than my grandparents. The problem is that they don't know how to keep this information private, just like grandma. Big companies get hacked more often than Kanye says crazy things. But how can we keep these companies from taking and losing our personal information? Ethereum is the answer, or at least they want to be. Their solution is to give control of data back to the users. Instead of storing all the client's valuable information on the cloud or company servers, areas that can be hacked, ETH wants to decentralize this information by storing information on nodes. Nodes would be run by volunteers around the world, creating a supercomputer. By doing this, the only person who has actual control over your information would be you, the user. If this sounds at all confusing, then take solace in the fact that it is confusing as heck. But the question is, will it work? And the answer is, maybe? That maybe is the reason why it doesn't rank higher on this list. But just the goal of making sure that Walmart doesn't give my phone number to Russian hackers is a good enough reason to be on this list. Number four, Monero, XMR. Monero prides itself in being the only truly private, secure, and untraceable cryptocurrency. A lot of cryptos claim that they are untraceable, including the big name ones like Bitcoin and Ethereum, but they can be linked back to users through transfers of the currency. It may be harder to trace a Bitcoin, but with some effort it is possible because the currency is transferred through third-party sites like Coinbase. XMR, the shorthand for Monero, 
avoids this issue by giving the user complete control over their XMR transactions. No middleman involved. If you mine the crypto yourself from the blockchain, then there are zero ways to trace any Monero back to you. One of the ways Monero maintains this secrecy is through the use of ring signatures. When transferring XMR, one just inputs their private spending key, which allows the transfer. The ring signatures then sends a bunch of decoy keys along with the real one to the recipient, so they can never know the true sender. Pretty sneaky, huh? And that only protects the sender. Monero also has systems in place to protect the privacy of the recipient and of the very existence of the transaction. So Monero makes it so a mystery person can send XMR to another mystery person and then make it so the transaction appears to have never even happened in the first place. In a way, Monero is the most crypto of all the cryptocurrencies because of how secretive it is. Does Monero even exist? We'll never know. Number three, IOTA. IOTA is probably the most frightening cryptocurrency on this list because it's pretty much the start of Skynet. Instead of promoting P2P, also known as person-to-person -person transactions like most cryptocurrency, IOTA is striding towards M2M transactions through the use of a high-speed, low-cost transfer system. And what does that M stand for? I'll give you a hint. It's not man, or mouse, or monkey. You guess yet? It's machine. That's right, IOTA's giving machines a currency. But why would we want to give machines a currency? And the answer seems to be, why not? Nearly every machine nowadays has an internet connection, from TVs to refrigerators to cars to light bulbs. Even toasters can connect to Wi-Fi if it's fancy enough. The goal of IOTA is to create a standardized currency to connect all of these things with an internet connection. In short, IOTA wants your dryer to be able to pay your waffle maker if it has to that particular scenario won't likely happen unless your dryer runs on yummy breakfast foods. But a solar panel could be able to sell the electricity it's creating to your refrigerator using IOTAs. This would create a machine-to-machine -machine economy and bring us one step closer to being taken over by our robots. Except instead of robots, it'll be our Keurigs and dishwashers cracking the whips. Number 2. Neo. There is one reason why NEO ranks so high on this list. It's not that it plans to create a digital identity for its users that will be verified through facial recognition, fingerprints, or voice. It's not that it shares similar lofty goals to that of Ethereum with its use of smart contracts and digital assets. And it has nothing to do with sharing the name with the chosen one from the Matrix. Actually, maybe that last part influenced its position a tiny bit. No, the sole reason NEO is on this list is that it is backed by the Chinese government. The Chinese are one of, if not the most, powerful governments on the face of the planet Earth. They have a thriving economy and are a world superpower. So in a sense, NEO has one of the most powerful allies on their side. Cryptocurrency is like the new final frontier, and you can bet that the Chinese will do anything to make sure that they come out on top. Some of you may balk at the idea that NEO's association with the Chinese government makes it more promising, isn't the whole point of cryptocurrencies to get away from government meddling? Maybe, but a bet against NEO is a bet against the People's Republic of China, which is not a bet I would be making anytime soon. Number 1. Ripple XRP We told you we would get back to Ripple, and we always keep our promises. Ripple, also known as XRP, is the most promising cryptocurrency because it stands against everything that cryptocurrencies were originally created for. Cryptocurrencies were originally created in order to make currencies that could be exchanged without government, bank, or company oversight. XRP is created by a company, Ripple, which has been working with governments and banks in order for their coin to succeed. Already, over 65 financial institutions have pledged to adopt Ripple, and that's just the start. Even South Korea, which has become one of the first nations to try and regulate cryptocurrencies, has come out as Team Ripple. If Ripple goes against every moral foundation that cryptocurrencies stand for, then why would it succeed? Well, two reasons. First, it has a clear goal to replace the current system for international wire transfers. Current international money transfers take several days and have many fees attached. XRP can transfer from New York to New Guinea in seconds at a cost of near nothing. The technology can save banks trillions a year and I've heard banks are in the money business. The second and most important reason is, never bet against the people in power. Banks and government always win. XRP knows this and have submitted to their overlords. 
every other cryptocurrency must do the same or risk being destroyed by our money gods. Final thoughts. Did we get it right? Do you think that your cryptocurrency of choice that is not on this list should be? Are you mad about the absence of Bitcoin? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for your time.